What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, new reports surface about new details regarding undefeated, lightweight Mexican superstar title contender King Rod Ryan Garcia taking on legendary, iconic, eight division world champion, Filipino superstar boxer who currently holds the WBA welterweight world championship title at 147, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. With that said, we got some new details, interesting details regarding this fight. Reports are that this fight could take place in September uh, of 2021. Uh, and it can, and it's going to be at the full 147 pound welterweight limit. So essentially, Manny Pacquiao is going to fight Ryan Garcia at his weight, where he's comfortable, at 147, okay? So, this is huge news. Because, essentially, Ryan Garcia has just removed himself completely, if this fight does come from to fruition, he's removed himself completely from the equation dealing with the young, up-and-coming crop of fighters. Why do I say that? Because Ryan Garcia jumping from... 135 to 147 is a massive jump. Ryan Garcia, yes, he's 22 years age. He stands at 5'10", 70, 71-inch arm reach. So he has a big frame. He can make the jump, but he's not going to gradually make the jump. He's going to force the jump from 135 to 147. That's not going to bowl well for him, okay? He's never carried that weight before. He's only been in one high-profile fight that was against Olympic gold medalist, British superstar, lightweight title contender, Lou Campbell, in his last fight, in which he was floored with a feint to the body and a left sweep and left hook that dropped him in the second round. He got up, no doubt. He faced adversity. He, he overcame it. He got up seventh round, caught Lou Campbell with a left hook to the body and stopped him. With that said, Manny Pacquiao is a completely different task at hand for Ryan Garcia. Manny Pacquiao footwork is much quicker than Luke Campbell. Manny Pacquiao's experience is much higher than Luke Campbell. Manny Pacquiao's power is much stronger than Luke Campbell's. Manny Pacquiao's awkwardness is much more difficult than Luke Campbell. Now, Manny Pacquiao doesn't have the size as Luke Campbell, as Luke Campbell is five foot nine with a 70-inch arm reach himself. But Manny Pacquiao is five foot five, five foot six at best, with a 67-inch arm reach. But he has a lot of power. He's a southpaw as well. He has a lot of power. And Manny Pacquiao knows how to um, deliver it. Okay? He's well experienced. He's been dropped. He's been in adversity. He's been knocked out. He's won big fights. This is nothing new for Manny Pacquiao. It's just another trip around the sun for Manny Pacquiao. Okay? With that said, you know, for Ryan Garcia to go up to 147, his career, he lose to Manny Pacquiao, essentially is over. Because he cannot compete at 147 with any of those guys at 147, the upper echelon or the B-class fighters. He just can't do it. He don't have the skill set. He has very slow feet. Yes, he has very fast hands. And he has power in both hands. He sits down on all his punches. That's why his hand speed looks so fast. And that's why his power is what it is. Because he sits down on all his punches because he's very flat-footed. But he keeps his head straight up in the air. Uh, he has a lot of weaknesses on defense. So with that said, there's no way, there's not even close that he can comp compete with the uh, Errol Spence's undefeated unified WBC IBF welterweight world champion superstar boxer or Terrence Crawford three division world champion former junior welterweight undisputed world champion who currently is the WBO welterweight world champion widely considered the best fight in the world. He can't keep up with two time welterweight world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter two division world champion uh, Danny Swift Garcia. He can't compete with any of these guys. Keith Thurman, former unified WBC, WBA, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer. He can't compete with them. And he definitely can't even compete with the new crop of welterweights. The undefeated, rising, welterweight, title contender, superstar boxer, Jerron Boots Ennis. And the same goes for undefeated, rising, Mexican, welterweight, title contender, superstar boxer, Virgil Ortiz. Or Speedy Rashidi Ellis undefeated, rising, welterweight, title contender. He can't compete with those guys. 
because he don't have the skill set to compete with them and he hasn't ha allowed his body to grow into that fight. This is essentially, I'm looking at it as a cash out fight because he will not be able to go back down to 135. And if he does go back down to 140, that's a seven pound drop. He's going to gain a lot of muscle mass to get, to get up to 147. He loses to Manny Pacquiao. More than likely, it's going to be in dramatic fashion because Manny Pacquiao's wins are normally in dramatic fashion, right? Uh, he's going to get stopped by Manny Pacquiao, or he's going to definitely get dropped a few times by Manny Pacquiao in a loss. Then he's going to try to go back to 140. And who's he going to compete with at 140? We, know, we now know Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor will fight May 1st for Undisputed. With that said... You know, uh, can he beat Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor winner? No. Can he beat Adrian Broner, four division world champion, superstar boxer? No. Can he beat uh, Regis Progray, former IBF, Julian Welterweight world champion? No. I don't believe he could compete with any of those guys because they have too much experience and too much power and they're too crafty for Ryan Garcia, especially right now, this point in time in his career. He's not going to learn much from losing to Manny Pacquiao in dramatic fashion. That's not going to be a learning lesson for him because Manny Pacquiao is going to present to him so many things, so much confusion with so much power. He's going to overwhelm him. It's not going to be a learning lesson. It was a learning lesson for a four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer who's currently unified WBC, WBA, super middleweight world champion Saul Canelo Alvarez when he lost to Floyd Mayweather, legendary former five division world champion, former pound for pound king, retired, undefeated 50 and 0. When he lost to Floyd Mayweather, it was a schooling. It was a learning lesson. Ryan Garcia is not going to get that. This is going to essentially be a crash course, and he's going to fail. And Ryan Garcia believes that he could beat Manny Pacquiao, as he should. He should have the confidence in his skill set. But he doesn't have the skill set, truthfully, to defeat Manny Pacquiao, because you need foot movement. If you're a flat-footed statue for Manny Pacquiao, you are, you're tailor-made for his style. And he doesn't have it. When you're a mover, you're essentially at times uh, tailor-made for Manny Pacquiao. Yes, Ryan Garcia has very fast hand. Yes, he has power. And yes, he has counterpunch ability. But Manny Pacquiao will be in and out so fast, Ryan Garcia is not going to know what hit him. Essentially, he's not going to truly know what hit him. He's just not. And so he cannot make 135. So the Javante Tank Davis fight is essentially all but done if this fight does come to fruition at 147. Because Javante Tank Davis is not going up to 140. So you'll never see undefeated two-division world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis and King Ryan Garcia ever face off. That fight is completely done. Now, it's a possibility you could see Ryan Garcia face off against undefeated WBC lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin and Dream Haney. Because Devin Haney has the frame to move up to 140 and possibly 147. Tia Fima Lopez, undefeated, unified, WBO, IBF, WBA, Ring Magazine, WBC, franchise champion. It's a possibility Tia Fima Lopez, superstar boxer. You can see Ryan Garcia and Tia Fima Lopez at some point in time. Because Tia Fima Lopez will def uh, eventually make his way to 147 because he has the frame to do so. But these other guys... More than likely, it's not going to happen. Maybe Shakur Stevenson. But Javante Tank Davis' fight has just essentially went out the window forever. Because he can never get his frame back down to 135 comfortably and healthy. And Javante Tank Davis is not going to go up to 140 anytime soon, if ever. So, Ryan Garcia, this is a cash-out fight. This is how I'm looking at it. He's not looking to build a legacy within the sport of boxing. And he continues to tell anybody that listen that he wants to build something outside the sport of boxing. He just said on an interview, if you're not doing what Manny Pacquiao is doing, as far as Manny Pacquiao being in politics and running for Senate and things of that nature, then you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not using your platform as you should. And I agree with him. You should, your, your platform in the sport of boxing should extend outside of the sport. But at 22 years of age, you should be worrying about and focusing on building your legacy opposed to worrying about building your, 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 using your platform to, to, to help outside the sport of boxing. Now that's a great mindset, but you, your focus needs to be at least 50, 50 focus on boxing. And this is a cash out fight. And I don't understand how Oscar De La Hoya, who is a boxing mind, who is an Olympic gold medalist, who's a former five division world champion, superstar boxer, 
former cash cow, can allow this? How could Bernard Hopkins, who's a multi-division champion, who was undisputed at middleweight, Hall of Famer, they allowed this and they signed off on this because they have to see that his career, he lose to Manny Pacquiao, is essentially over. And he's not going to bounce back. He cannot compete at 147 for the duration of his career. Not now. And he cannot compete at, uh, he may compete at 140, but 135 is done with. The Javante Tate Davis fight is never going to happen. Never going to happen. So let's see how this unfolds. So they're targeting in September at 147. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. That's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Buzz Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LD. B C shout out to new media shout out to black media row make sure you like your shady videos that's all i got for y'all peace